Hello and welcome to Protecting Your Mobile Apps with F5 Distributed Cloud Mobile App Shield. My name is Kyle Roberts and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Engineer with F5. Today we'll be showcasing Mobile App Shield with a product demonstration of how to both integrate Shield while also highlighting the protection it provides. Mobile App Shield is a key security technology that integrates directly into applications to provide proactive security against a wide range of attacks, such as tampering, debugging, code injection, code modification, and data theft within the app. It is also a command line tool, which works on a built app and requires no code changes. It can also be used standalone or in conjunction with Bot Defense Standard or Advanced to provide a broader protection and an even more robust mobile app security solution. In this demo, we'll be showcasing Mobile App Shield for iOS. We'll begin our demonstration with a simple, unshielded, and very vulnerable iOS application using a variety of pen testing attack tools. We'll demonstrate how live debuggers can monitor app details in real time, allowing malicious actors to perform dynamic analysis of an iOS app, reverse engineering, runtime manipulation, and many more. We'll also show how hooking frameworks are able to hook into the iOS app, and we'll demonstrate how attack tools like Objection can automate many attacks to dump sensitive information and modify app values. Finally, we'll demonstrate how the mobile app integrator can seamlessly integrate distributed cloud bot defense and mobile app shield into the application to provide comprehensive protection for the native app. For this demo, we're going to use a simple iOS app and we'll begin by installing the app here on the device with the debug parameter enabled. Debuggers are an important tool for attackers to gain real-time visibility into the application. Here we can see that the app has been installed and the debugger has launched successfully. We'll verify the debug by hitting the Make Request Function button, and we can see that it ends at the breakpoint that we've configured. As you can see, the debug provides intimate application details, providing bad actors with an excellent tool for crafting a targeted attack. Now let's demonstrate a hooking framework like Frida to hook into the app, which then allows us to run some pen testing tools like Objection. The Objection Toolkit provides powerful tools that facilitate both security researchers and threat actors. Let's see just how easy it is to break SSL pinning on the app using the SSL pinning disable command. And we can see that it has added many insecure SSL parameters, removing the cert pinning from this app. These attack tools allow you to easily dump sensitive information from a vulnerable app, such as displaying the NS user defaults for the application, NS URL credential storage, inspecting cookies if a web view was present, and view all the different libraries that link with this app. We can also see how vulnerable this application is prior to applying the mobile app shield. Now let's go ahead and remove the app from the device and configure our shield values in a configuration template. Looking at our config template, there are many different secure configuration options here and they're all described in detail in the user guide and documentation. We have configured shield to block debuggers and we configured exiting when any hooking frameworks are used like Frida. Many of these options have the ability to open a configured response page once that protection mechanism is triggered. For the purpose of this demo, we'll use a URL of a Google search for hooking detected to show that it works, but most customers would likely configure some kind of custom response page here. Now that we've got the configuration written for the mobile app shield, let's now create an integration profile. When you're creating that integration profile, if the customer has also purchased Bot Defense, you're going to want to point this Python script that will create that profile using the base config for Bot Defense. We also want to specify a URI here, and this is where you'll specify the entry points for attaching telemetry to all requests that match the URI that we define. Now let's go ahead and create this integration profile. As a next step, we're going to call this jar file, which does the shielding and integration. We'll point it to the plugin, the config XML, the app we'll be shielding, and a name for the finished product. Now that the app has been shielded, as we install the now shielded version of the application and attempt to attach a debugger as we did in our initial demonstration, you'll notice that it's unsuccessful. We can confirm again that the debugger was not attached by setting the same breakpoint we had earlier for the make request action, then pressing the button, and if the debugger was attached, we would hit the breakpoint. You can see that Shield has successfully blocked this debugger from attaching, as we never hit the breakpoint that we configured. Now let's confirm by running Frida as we did before that the newly shielded version of the app is able to detect and mitigate any hooking frameworks being detected. As desired, the shielded application is terminating the Frida process from hooking into the app and redirecting us to our defined Google search page of hooking detected. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.